Yeah, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> trip here to Marseille. Just been having a little walk along the quayside here and all the fishermen are unloading their catch and selling it to local people and to local restaurants. Not being a fish lover, <laughs> I don't recognize too many species there but it's popular and people are putting squid into their bags and other fish as well. So today I want to take a walk down to the other side of the, uh, the old port area towards the uh, uh, Fort Saint-Jean, the other fort that's here in Marseille. There's also a museum there and I'll walk a little further down towards the Cathedral La Maggiore which I spotted from the hilltop yesterday. So I'm really looking forward to that and seeing what else I can discover here in this fantastic city. It's another sunny day, 18 degrees, toasty warm, and well, I'm just going to enjoy myself today. It's going to be wonderful. So let's see what else we can discover on the way down to the museums and the fort. pleasant stroll this morning just walking down the harbour watching the tourist boats go out the fishermen and all the other industries that relate to uh, to boats absolutely beautiful well, I've wandered down that little square that I arrived at the other day just down from the Marriott Hotel it's a lovely building on the left hand side part of the, uh, the Hotel de Ville it used to be the council offices at the front. It's very ornate. But the windows behind, you can see they've all been put out. And I'm wondering if there's some activity from the Second World War that uh, meant the windows had to be blocked up. It's really rather interesting. I don't know the age of the building. I have had a look at the outside to see if there are any dates on it, but uh, I can't see any so far. But it's really rather nice. It's got the lovely shutters on the uh, on the outside and the bars as well to protect the uh, the glass. Absolutely beautiful. But what's drawn my attention is these these two statues up on stilts. One of them is a lion, and there's one at the other end which is a bull. Really rather striking little. Uh, they call it an art installation, perhaps. And above the window here, there's some uh, some writing translation is all citizens inhabitants of the same commune are civilly guarantees of attacks committed on the territory of the commune either towards people or against property that's really rather interesting I'm not sure what it means I'm not sure what it what the significance is but it's probably something to do with the, the history of this building and what it used to be before it became L'Hotel La Vie Hotel de Ville. De, yeah, Hotel de Ville, town hotel. It's rather lovely here. And then just walking down a bit further to this other statue of this, uh, of this bull. Again, I've had a little look at this one as well. But I can't see any uh, sculptor's marks or anything to indicate who made it or why it might be there. But it's really rather nice actually. Glad I came round this way the other day because I would never have spotted it. Let's walk a little further down 
towards the fort and see what else we can discover here in the back streets of Marseille. to the old church, the church of Saint Laurent. Really rather nice up here. Uh, the site was originally uh, the site of a pagan temple dedicated to Apollo. The origins of the church, uh, my footing, uh, go back to 870 AD when the uh, Bishop Babon decided to build a fortified wall to protect the city from invaders. And it was some years later they actually built this fine church. But uh, it was in 1668, a part of the church overlooking the, uh, the sea was demolished to make way for the construction of Fort Saint-Jean, which is just on my right-hand side. But uh, that wasn't the end of the story for, uh, for this church, because it had some activity during the French Revolution. All the gold and the silver from the church was robbed or to turn them into coins. But uh, a few months later, in March of 1794, it was used as a military warehouse and didn't reopen for worship until 1801. But as I walk past this church, the back of this church, there is a statue to the most amazing man. And his name was Nicholas Rose. He was born in 1675 and died in 1733. But it was during the Great Plague of 1720 that he made a name for himself here in the city. He was responsible for organising the quarantine and he even set up a gallows to deter looters. But it was his exploits on the day of 16th of September 1720 that he personally headed a 150 strong group of volunteers and prisoners to remove around 1,200 corpses from the poor area of Marseille. And it was recorded that some of those corpses were three weeks old and unrecognizable in human form. And there's this marvelous statue of him here behind the church. Absolutely fantastic to see that. But I mentioned Fort Saint-Jean just a moment ago, and that is across the road. So let's head across the road and into the fort and see what we can discover in there. made it inside the fort. It's open, unlike the fort yesterday which was closed. And it's absolutely delightful up here. I had a little walk through already and I can see what I might have missed if I'd been to that fort in Livorno just a few months ago. But this is absolutely lovely. Fantastic views overlooking the harbour and of course the church of Saint Laurent where I was a few moments ago. Now this fort was built around 1660-1662 during the reign of King Louis XIV. It was built on the, as the entrance to the, uh, to the old port and the other fort on the side as well to, to protect the port of Marseille from invaders. The actual fort was built on a, on a previous occupation here. It used to be um, uh, it's occupied by this, the military order of the Knights Hospital, Hospitaller. Hospitaller, yes, Hospitaller, the Knights Templar. Knights of St. John, they used to uh, 
our fortification here and uh, a few hundred years ago say it's 1660-ish or thereabouts the new fort was uh, was created and built absolutely fantastic but I'm gonna have a little walk around and see what I can discover and, uh, and then try and find the museum on the other side so uh, yeah this is gonna be fun <laughs> Wow, it's absolutely brilliant just walking around here. Grounds are fantastic. There's so much to see as well. And it's free, which is brilliant. But the museum behind me is 11 euros entrance fee to get into that. So uh, that's where I'm going in a moment. But I had a walk around the gardens here. Absolutely lovely. Uh, more views overlooking the bay, out into the Mediterranean, and of course, will be the port area of Marseille. Absolutely brilliant. I am so pleased that uh, I came here and so pleased that uh, the uh, the fort is open. Unlike <laughs> the Fort St Nicholas yesterday which was closed. Such a shame but oh, never mind these things happen but I'm more than made up for it today having a walk around here uh, just enjoying myself and looking at the sights. So I'll leave you with some pictures of the gardens here as I head on into the museum. Seven euros really well spent. So much on display in there, ranging from arms and armour, a bit of cannons in there, statues, pottery, all sorts of things and quite a lot of items that relate to North Africa, Tunisia, um, Algeria and Alexandria. I guess there's a lot of uh, connections with Marseille to North Africa. I haven't really looked into the history of Marseille but it's something I shall do on my next visit and uh, try and delve into the history a little more. But I think the actual architecture of the building was rather interesting because it had an interesting walkway around the side on the outside of the building. So uh, that was never seen that before. Interesting designs of modern architecture. But just up ahead here is the Cathedral La Major. And it looks absolutely magnific like magnificent. <laughs> Can't get my words out today. <laughs> so we're just going to have a little look at the uh, this, uh, this cathedral and uh, see what else we can discover down here on the docks. Because this is where all the cruise ships uh, moor up down here. There's a big one just come in from Tunisia. So. Uh, and take a look at some cruise ships as well.
as I walk up to the cathedral, I see the marvel of the stonework and the ornate statues, which are at the top above the entrance, looks absolutely incredible. It's built in the Byzantine and Roman revival style, and the foundation stone was laid in 1852 by Napoleon III. It was completed in 1896, and it's the seat of the Archdiocese of uh, Marseille. And what a fantastic looking building it is. Two amazing religious buildings here in Marseille. The Basilica, which I saw yesterday, and this incredible cathedral. Absolutely, absolutely amazing. So let's go inside and take a look. cathedral that was to walk around. The internal architecture was just incredible and I enjoyed seeing the uh, figurine of Jesus on the cross and the uh, ornate carvings above the door. It must have taken years to create that and the workmanship and the craftsmanship that went into designing the, uh, the front of the, uh, the entrance there. Absolutely incredible. But this is where I end the video. I've had a fantastic day today, walking through the streets, around the harbour, visiting the fort, the museum, and this cathedral. Absolutely incredible. What a brilliant day. But tomorrow is my last day here in Marseille, and I'll tell you all about that tomorrow. So if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and follow my journey, because there's plenty more to come on this adventure and on the next. Thanks for watching.